I feel honored and I feel I'm more than happy to have been in a position to, to be uh, awarded this award of the coordinator of the year in mini cricket. Yeah, it makes me feel uh, proud uh, for me and back at our union there and even at our province where I come from because it has been a, a, a very long time for hard work trying to drill a uh, all of the fundamentals at the early ages of the kids. And then if one sees where actually where everything is going is, or is moving to, it ended up a big bringing about a feeling of a satisfaction. That is how I feel about the, 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 thing, the winning of this uh, today's award. It is an awesome feeling, I must say. I've been working really hard, so it's a huge privilege for me and yeah, I'm really happy that it came off. I'm looking to get back into the national side. Obviously it's hard work as well, so I've been working really hard this last few weeks and um, yeah, I want to work as hard as I can to get back into the national setup and represent my country. I feel very proud because it was a very big tournament, the CSA T20 Cricket Festival. And I know there were like a thousand schools that took place in the whole um, build up to the tournament. And getting to the finals, Hilton College was very good because it was our first, first time in a couple of years now being there. And getting all the way to the final was a proud moment for me as a captain of the side. But unfortunately losing out in the final wasn't a great moment, but collecting the award uh, is a great honour for me. I heard maybe one or two of them would be here today, but it looked like the whole team came and supported uh, the amateur cricket uh, circuit, which is good showing of the team. And so it was Hulte College old boy Lungi Ngidi. I saw him today, which was nice, and he's um, an idol for me also, being from Hilton College. It's a very good feeling to um, be recognised, and it was a lot of hard work going into it, and um, it just motivates me to keep working hard and go for bigger honours. So, yeah. Having a taste at that level, it gives you a lot of motivation to kick on and just do your best and try and um, knock the doors now. Obviously very chuffed. I think to know that your hard work and those extra hours that you put in is recognised is, is certainly very rewarding for myself. But you know, ultimately I think um, it's a humbling experience receiving an award like this. But this, this isn't possible without good administration, good management and ultimately the players that, that, that make it work for you. You know, your players can make you look good or bad. So the players deserve a lot of credit, you know, I'm only the one that can give them the information and set things up, but they're the ones that are on the park and, and doing the job, so it's an incredibly humbling experience. Moving into the next season, our, our, our squad's become very young, so I think that, 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 that immediately is a new challenge. I think, um, you know, winning trophies has always been something we've been about for the last four or five years, and, you know, trying to remain successful is a hard task, but, but one which we've managed to achieve so far, but doing it with a new and evolving squad is going to be a great challenge that I'm looking forward to. I'm really proud that I got this award. Finally, all the hard work has paid off. Many hours in the nets. Finally, all coming together now to, you know. Hopefully, it is a big one. Establish yourself in the eastern side, and hopefully, just push on to higher honors from there on.